Hello, welcome to Cupid Guides. In this video I will be showing you a quick tutorial on how to get set up with Cupid. First we will sign up as a user. Signing up for Cupid is super simple. All you have to do is put in your email. So we'll start here. Demo. And provide your password of course. And don't forget to agree to the terms and conditions. Once you have successfully signed up, you will be greeted with our welcome wizard. The wizard is here to guide you through setting up your first case with Cupid. In Cupid, cases are the equivalent of problems or areas of focus on which developers and domain experts work together in order to tweak and improve their search results. That's where you would spend most of your time while working in Cupid. So it's a good idea to get familiar with the case screen and we'll be digging deeper into all the things you can do on there in other tutorials that are part of this series of guides on Cupid. So let's get started. First, make sure to give your case a descriptive name. To help you out, we give our users access to a sample data set so that you can explore Cupid and determine if it's the right solution for you. For the purpose of this demo, we will be working with a data set of movies. So we want to thank our friends at TMDB for allowing us to use their movie database in our examples. So I will name my case, show me the money. Cupid operates on one fund fundamental principle, which is the path of least friction. So Cupid does not require any installation of an agent on your server. Instead, it's a zero lock-in solution. All you need to do is specify which search engine you are working with. Cupid currently supports Solar and Elasticsearch and then provide the URL to your search handler. Usually this will be something like this. Don't forget to add the select at the end. In this case, I will change it to point to our TMDB dataset. If you are not sure whether or not you have the right URL, no worries. You can pick it by clicking this link. And at all times, you will be able to go back and update the URL or change the settings. We will go into that in details in other videos. Just know that whatever URL you specify here is not a commitment on your part and you will be always able to update it if necessary. Now, let's move on to telling Cupid how to interact with your search results. First, specify a title field to use for display purposes. Usually this would correspond to whatever field you use as a clickable title in your application while displaying the search results for your users. As you can see, the wizard tries to help you out. We do not expect you to have your entire schema memorized, so we provide you with an autocomplete list to choose from. This is a list of suggestions only, which means if the field you want to use is not in this list, that's okay, you can just type it manually. We retrieved this list by pinging your index and guessing what fields are available from the top 10 results returned for a blank query. So let's choose title for our case. Along with the title, the ID field is required and those are the only two things that are required. The ID field should correspond to the unique ID field in your schema and should definitely be unique. This is the only field that we store, so you can be confident that we do not store any of your sensitive data in Cupid. The ID field is the only one that's necessary in order to store and match ratings and judgments on the search result. If you'd like to see more data from the documents in Cupid, you can do so by specifying the additional fields. We also provide the ability to display images using the thumb key like this. Just type in thumb with a colon and then the field that holds the URL to the images. Cupid will be able to recognize that and display the image for you. If you're done, just hit continue. That's it, the setup is complete. Now all you have to do is enter the queries that you want to work on. 
You can do you can do this in the wizard here, but you can also provide it later on in the query box that's shown on the case screen. So I'll go ahead and start with a couple of queries to demonstrate it, how it works here. So So now that we have these in here, that's all you need to do to get yourself started with Cupid. That's it, it's done. So now as you can see, we've got some results that are showing up. So now that you have your case set up, you can start tuning your relevance and we'll go into that more in details in future uh, videos. So don't forget to check them out. Thank you for watching.